Hi everybody, my name's Chris. I'm one of the habitat specialists uh, representing Taxa Outdoors. We're at the Overland Expo here in Flagstaff, Arizona. You guys are standing in one of our products right now. Um, this is known as the Cricket. It is our mid-size model from Taxa. We have a product line of four, um, but this is gonna be the mid-size model. One of our most popular models as well. Um, we were here last year, but unfortunately we didn't have a Cricket, so we brought one this year, so you guys can check it out. Um, but yes, it's going to be uh, known as the Cricket. We have two standard, or we have two editions. We have the Standard and the Overland Edition. This is going to be the Overland Edition that we're standing in today. Um, so your Overland Edition is going to have some key upgrades from your Standard Edition. Um, you're going to have a better axle system. You'll have an axle suspension. You'll have a bigger tire, so you'll go from 15-inch to 16-inch tires. Um, and then you'll have a different hitch system, so you'll have a full articulating hitch known as a lock and roll hitch. So it's gonna be much better for those more aggressive travels. Um, so if you guys wanna take a look around, we're standing in, in the main sleeping quarters right now. Um, you can see we have a table system set up right now. So this is gonna be where everybody likes to eat, hang out, sit. Um, and then whenever we are done with this system, um, this table does unscrew and pop into place and it'll be your main sleeping quarters. So when it's not your main sleeping quarters, I mean, it's, like I said, it's a table system. You have your two kids' berths on the inside. So we do have a weight limit for these. This is gonna be 130 pounds. So anything under 130 pounds, whether it be children, some people like to use dogs. Um, if they don't have either, this is just gonna be an additional storage system for them. If you guys wanna turn around behind us, this is gonna be our cooking area. So we have our full kitchen system right here. We have a Dometic system right here in the sink. We also have a Dometic two burner system right here. So full uh, gas and propane. Each uh, Cricut's gonna come with two 10 pound tanks. So that will be stored on the outside. So that does attach to the inside. So you can use your kitchen inside. If we look below it, we're gonna have a control panel right here. So the control panel is gonna control all of your lighting system as well as your Truma system. So it comes in standard with a Truma combi system. Um, so you do have your heat, your heat in here um, your control panel is going to control all of that for you um, for your propane. Uh, power systems right here. We have a 12 volt plug. We also have some charger ports right here. We have your standard 12 volt plug right here. We have our battery disconnect switch. We have our voltometer. So right when we go into the voltometer, we have some quick uh, power capabilities. So you have a few of them whenever you have a Cricut. Um, so we do have, we are outfitted for solar. Um, we have a ZAMP solar system, but that does not mean you just have to use ZAMP. You can use practically inner, any solar panel um, with our Cricut. You would just need the appropriate adapters for that. Um, so that's one power system. You do have a shore power connection. You have a seven pin connection. And then down below, we have a storage system for your batteries. So these are gonna be a group 24 batteries or group 27. To finish it out, we do have a storage crate system whenever it comes to storing stuff inside your Cricut. Very uh, basic, but very efficient. Um, very easy when you're traveling, very easy when you're packing, you can remove these and go inside and pack and bring them back inside. So a lot of people like that feature when it comes to these crate systems. Still, we're gonna have crate systems underneath the, the sitting area. So if you lift this right here, we have more storage underneath. These back here also lift. They have additional storage space underneath there. So we'll go in the back and kind of see, we'll open it up and you'll be able to see all that storage system back there. We started inside, so we've moved outside. So really nice, um, aesthetic, pleasing outside. So as you can see with the full pop-up, uh, so that is a pop-up. It does come up and down. That way you can fit you, these uh, habitats in your garage. They do fit in a standard seven foot garage. So whenever it's popped up and open, looks really nice from the outside so we'll, we'll walk a little closer so you're going to notice all these cutouts throughout the habitat on the outside and inside so additional storage so you can strap things this is going to be one of our coolest features this rear hatch so definitely gives you a nice um, breeze from the inside i know we talked about storage on the inside and wanted to show you when it's open so these do fold up and when they're folded up, you can see that additional crates fit inside so you can store more space in there. So we're gonna walk onto the backside of the Cricut. So you're gonna have your fresh water tank right here. So it's gonna be a 15 uh, gallon fresh water tank on that. On the very front of the Cricut, we have some additional systems. Here's your store, your um, shore power, potable water. So if you're at a campsite and you need to hook up a water hose, you can hook up here. This is gonna be your ventilation system for the Truma on the inside. 
And then, like I said before, we have uh, solar connections on all of our habitats. So this is where the solar hooks up. One really cool, another cool feature is on the front end, we do have outdoor shower connections. So bo both um, hot and cold water, standard feature. Um, whenever you do, you'll uh, receive your hose. Um, you just need to get a shower tent for the outdoor setup. So when it comes to your water and your heating, there is uh, this, that is operated by your Truma Combi on the inside. So it will help you have heating on the inside, but it also warms your water for your sink and your out your shower system. So whenever uh, you're talking about tow capacity uh, on the Cricut, you're looking at 1,800 pounds dry, um, which we recommend at least 2,500 pounds to tow it safely. Up on the front, you see the uh, propane storage system. So like I said, two 10 pound tanks, that's a standard feature on that. You have your tire jack right here, up and down. Um, you're gonna see that you have stabilizer jacks on the front end as well as the back end so you can stabilize yourself whenever you arrive to your campground.